Ladies and gentlemen, we now move on without any further ado to our next panel for the evening, discussing the theme, Suggestions for Improving Media Education in India. Chairing this panel, I'd like to welcome on stage Mr. Ruhail Amin, Senior Editor, Exchange for Media Group. Joining him in conversation, Professor G.P. Pandey, Dean and Head, Department of Mass Communication, Assam University, Silchar. Professor J.P. Dubey, Director, Delhi School of Journalism, Delhi University. Dr. Sonal Pandya, Professor and Head, Department of Communication, Journalism and Public Relations, Gujarat University. Professor Mrinal Chatterjee, Professor and Regional Director, Indian Institute of Mass Communication, Sanchar Mark Dhenkanal. Dr. S. Arul Chelvin, Assistant Professor, Department of Media Sciences, Anna University, Chennai. And Dr. R. Sridhar, Media Expert and Community Radio Pack Practitioner, Emeritus Professor, APJ, University, Sona, India. I would like to welcome all the panelists on the stage, please. I request all the audience members to please maintain silence while the discussion is on. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Karthike. Um, thank you, everyone. Uh, good evening. Uh, we have a very uh, eclectic panel here. And uh, first of all, the setting is uh, so good. It look, looks like a music uh, event. But this is a serious discussion here. And the topic of discussion is uh, how can we improve the scope uh, of uh, uh, academic journalism? What is the next step in that? The next leap that academic journalism needs to take to be more relevant than it is today. It is very relevant to make it in tune with the changing media landscape. So I would start with uh, my panel. And uh, uh, so uh, I'll start from right here uh, next to me. Yes, sir, I I'll come to you. Uh, I know you have to leave a little early. I'll come, my second question will be to you, then, then we, could, we could, you know, share it. So, ma'am, uh, I just want to understand, uh, in your view, what are the blind spots, the bigger issues that uh, academic journalism is facing in today's media landscape, in the environment that, you know, uh, we operate in? What are the major issues on the academic side of journalism? Good evening to all. Since morning, people are asking me that, we are, where are you coming from? I said, I am from Gujarat, Ahmedabad, where Narendra Modi and Amit Shah studied. Before I complete, they are not able to listen even my name and my discipline as well. Uh, <coughs> but I am Sonal Pandya. I am with the Department of Communication and Journalism, Gujarat University. Uh, and uh, if I am throwing light on his question that uh, I am having very big question regarding the relevance of general education as a whole. Why media education? The relevance level issues are prevailing in education in general as well because we are num having a number of good colleges of BA, MA and lawyers. We are having a scarcity of the committed good lawyers, committed good teachers. So I think it is the very uh, larger question not regarding the media education itself. And as far as the media education is concerned, that is the uh, complaint from the beginning whether we are able to cater the requirement of industry. I think uh, uh, we, we are sometimes overestimated and I should be, we have to be very clear about that because there are two aspects of uh, learning. One is the skill build, uh, development and attitude building. We are giving too much of importance to the skill learning rather than attitude building. And I firmly feel that uh, the student that, that we are receiving in the mainstream universities, they are coming from heterogeneous background, who are coming from different A 15 years ki process complete hone ke baad aate hain. So I think that we can teach them how to learn in life, or we should be very practical in that sense. And if they have a proper attitude of a learning, for example, I can quote you the very known symbol of a largely media award and which is accepted by the All India Advertising Association. That logo is designed by our student. 
so i never taught her how to draw the logo but i taught her the gender justice and gender issues i think three things that we have to think upon that we have to teach uh, at the graduation or the post graduation level basic of indian economy culture society and uh, political science i think it is a very much lacking so we can teach the student how to learn Thanks. Uh, and don't be overestimate all the sorry, time. don't feel guilty uh, all the time that we are not able to cater the industry that thank is you thank idea. you ma'am I'm, i'm sorry we are just running uh, with a limited we have a 30 minute slot and we have to complete all this uh, thoughts so sir coming to you next you know if you have to throw a uh, light on the subject what would be your take on improving uh, the media Uh, academic side of uh, the media debate you know and what are the, what are the biggest uh, challenges that you are facing that you see happening on that side yeah. thank you good evening everybody uh, media education at the moment has been designed on three parameters one one is related to vertically how many people are being given a specialized training to perform a high level of academic or professional job that is treated as a master degree program in most of the universities the second level is how many students are being enrolled for doing many other jobs of journalism which is not very academically or professionally of sound nature but of other nature also and that is mostly being offered at the undergraduate level in some of the universities not here in india it is not very popular but in other universities outside india even the school curricula is accommodating media literacy and media education so that the people transiting from the under school uh, below school to undergraduate courses and master degree courses are far better in terms of learning and production outcome that difficulty unfortunately we have been carrying too far long and this was happening because delhi university was not part of this uh, whole exercise we started uh, very late last year we started in uh, we started thinking of doing a very organized journalism media instruction and we came out with a five year integrated program and that five integrated year program is accommodating two components one is what is the specific requirement at a very larger level that is the undergraduate level and what will be the vertical requirement at the master degree level so that they can be used in disciplinary growth of the subject domain because we have been lacking on those fronts at least i can assure you in uh, another 5 6 years there will be a substantial enrichment of disciplinary growth at least from delhi university i don't know how many other universities are doing right. one more additional um, input i was i would like to add upon is there was a talk about making syllabi uniform making syllabi uniform is very dangerous there can be a common minimum guideline which is which is available to everybody that this should constitute media education but there should be complete autonomy to the respective universities so that they can plan according to the strength available in other faculties right. i Thank totally you. agree with you uh, uh, my next question is uh, you know a lot of students think that uh, academic they they give preference to learning on the job you know they want to learn on job they want to go there and hands on and they say i have personally seen people talking about it that hum zyada seekhte hain real world mein you know if that is the case you know if th this is the thought process is there uh, something lacking from the academic side that is making them think so can we bridge this gap can they not talk about learning hands on only and having a strong foundation academic foundation as well how do we see um, ensuring this you know as we go along <coughs> good evening to everyone uh, the media education is facing a tremendous changes uh, last uh, decades media industry also uh <clears throat> regarding the media education the academic uh, foundation is very important because uh, skill is important but more than that academic foundation the basic understanding concepts theories they are also very important because any any normally the in the media production houses are uh, taking lot of students for their employment even that uh, just a 10th past or plus 2 past uh, students they can 
take the camera, steel camera, uh, video camera, they can cover anything, they can record anything. But apart from that, the knowledge, mass communication understanding, concept of theoretical understanding is very important to overcome. Thanks. 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 I'll just yes, go sir. quickly to the next uh, panelist. Um, so if you have to uh, talk about, for example, uh, there's another argument that there's an, uh, media is an elitist, like English bias is there's a lot of bias towards English, you know. Uh, that's an elitist approach towards uh, even grooming the next uh, uh, phase of the next, you know, generation of journalists. Do you think uh, we are paying enough attention at developing regional talent, you know, because you see media houses, they employ stringers just based because they are, lo their location is their only the, the merit, you know, they just, because they have the particular location they're based in. Do you think we are dividing this uh, English plus regional plus stringer and, and there, there's a something big issue that needs to be seen and you know addressed maybe. Uh, <coughs> very good evening to the dignit uh, dignitaries on the dais of the diets as well as the chairman of the uh, this panel. Uh, thank you for your very brilliant and relevant questions. Uh, being the particular uh, uh, teacher for the last 27 years, because you are confining me to a particular uh, dimension uh, which are related to challenges of the journalism, but uh, certainly as uh, you have asked, uh, though particular in India, uh, right now uh, we see that uh, uh, the English journalism is uh, 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 dominating. But uh, I feel that the regional journalism has also more potential and days are not very far, uh, uh, far away that uh, in due course of time, I think that the regional journalism uh, will uh, uh, certainly replace the English journalism. For that, uh, the, uh, uh, we have to also, being the academician, we have to uh, uh, take some certain steps and also make some such kind of curriculum uh, such as uh, are considering the need best requirement of the students. Suppose I think that uh, if uh, some institution is situated in Hindi heart belt, so there we have to think of uh, regarding the particular that uh, uh, language journalism or maybe if uh, some institution is in the south or Kerala or some, there we have to also think of uh, on that particular point. So I feel, and with one example I can tell. I'm sorry, I'm running short of time. We'll come back to it again. Okay, I just okay. let me okay, complete this you, one question. Uh, yes. So we just had this conversation inside also that when students see today's media, when they see news channels, when they see this screaming happening and a bit of entertainment happening, how do you react? What do you tell them? You know, when you teach them an idealis idealistic view about give, giving them a certain, you know, uh, basis in journalism, certain grounding in journalism, but they are seeing something very ironic. Uh, how do you, how do you, yes, 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 yes. How would you kind of, I mean, might say my point is that there's a, there is a dif difference between what they are taught and what they see. Okay. How do you reconcile the two? That's my point. Um. To answer that, I am going to take you at a different sure. direction. You have mushrooming of uh, media schools. One is run by Delhi University, Bombay University, etc. Another is run by the industry. The industry doesn't teach any ethics, only practical training, and give them some, take the money, take their work, and give them a certificate. And they will be happy that I got a certificate so and so big big banner whereas in the government universities fees are low but you don't get any exposure to industry and I will come to a point when Mr. K.G. Suresh announced that the government has issued a letter of intent for Vishwa Vidyalaya we need to have standards we need to have an all India council for media education like ASCTE 
You may say there will be corruption and recognition, but etc. But there will be standards. Let this IIMC, which becomes a university, also start with instilling standards and recognitions of media schools, so that there is a particular, he said, some common minimum program is needed. There's a certain amount of practicality, certain amount of theories. Let there be standards. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, so, uh, uh, so your, your suggestions, uh, my next question, uh, what are your suggestions for improving the academic side of... Uh, I guess all big problems can have simple, short solutions if both the parties are actually keen to find solutions. I have just seven points. I'll be as brief as possible. Yes. Three Point minutes. number one, praxis plus theory plus attitudinal training. Ladies and gentlemen, I can assure you that we can weave all this in our syllabi. Second point, keeping pace with evolving skill requirements. All said and done, we need to uh, orient our, our students with uh, emerging technology. That's the second point, keeping pace with evolving skill requirements. Third point is multimodal learning. Some uh, learning is textual, some should be graphical, some needs to be visual, while some need to be experimental. So we have to have a multimodal training. Fourth point, we must uh, uh, utilize the cutting edge technology. Fifth point, enhanced learners engagement. Now how do you ensure that it will squarely depend on A, the media educators and the system. But at the end of the day, we need to ensure enhanced learners engagement. Point number six, online social networking and community based learning. That uh, we uh, probably need to know how do you go about it. And last but not the least, I entirely agree with uh, him that a benchmarking body are regulating, call it regulating, call it benchmarking. We need a body. Thank you very much. Thanks, thanks. Mr. Dubey, uh, I want you to answer one of the questions that I asked that gentleman before, which was about that elitist division between, you know, English, regional, a stringer, you know. Uh, do you see there is actually an issue or we are just making an issue out of it, actually? Yeah, definitely there is an issue. There are issues. Yeah, there are issues. And uh, perhaps that was the, um, at the core of our mind when we were designing this five-year integrated program in journalism in Delhi University, we decided to cater to the elitist class, definitely, because there was a uh, systematic orientation of students towards this journalism, journalism particularly in English. So we were not willing to leave that cadre outside this ambit. So we decided to rope in them first, and then go for the Hindi journalist also. So equal number of seats were given to the Hindi students also. We went further also. We tried to accommodate regional languages also. Each student, whether he is doing in English journalism or he is doing in Hindi journalism, he or she has to take at least one Indian language for all five years. No, no, my point is the bias, I mean, ahead of after this, you know, do you so, see, yes, do you see them getting after, equal after opportunities? After this is possible only when they are not trained in that direction. Once they are trained in that direction, that bias will not be there because they will be practicing it. Because if somebody is trained in Tamil language as well as and in the journalism, he or she will be, would, would be definitely working out in Tamil literature. He will be seeking Tamil history. He will be doing Tamil film also. That is the idea which has led us to. And, and fortunately, you will be surprised to know that very few uh, institutions can claim that for 100 seats, there were 12,000 applicants. 9,600 students appeared for the entrance tests. That is the idea which is working on the ground. Thanks, thank, thank you. you. Ms. Pandya, you want to add to it? You want to say something? Can so I add to what that? Do you mean by, uh, what do we mean by elitist? Because I am very against this word because uh, speaking in English is not an elitist. And the, the biggest problem, Gandhi said after independence that the hard-heartedness of intelligent people, I think literate people's backwardness is a more big challenge in this country now. And I think media education is also facing that literate backward people are existing. They feel that we are so-called educated and they don't know anything. 
So I think uh, we, this uh, session is for the suggestion. Uh, I must suggest that one month compulsory internship in rural area is must Very for good. all I think we should all uh, cheer for this, yes. Because they are rootless people, they don't know. They are talking about the cow slaughter. Usko wo bhi nahi pata ke gai ko kitne aach hote aur bakri ko kitne hote. Wo gajar ka halwa ki baat kar de, gajar upar ukta hai ki niche ukta hai, pata nahi hai. Aise rootless log, in name of elitist and English medium school jo aate hain, jisko hum elitism kehte hain, mujhe lagta hai ki we have to think, rethink about that. They are foreigners in their own country. और ऐसे रूटलेस लोगों ने काफी नुकसान एजुकेशन सिस्टम को किया और वो मीडिया एजुकेशन को भी कर रहे हैं आई वॉन्ट सपोर्ट आई वॉन्ट सपोर्ट है आई वर्क इन ए फील्ड विच नो बडी मेजोरिटी ऑफ जर्नलिस्ट डोंट वर्क आई फील्ड इन वर्क इन कम्युनिटी रेडियो वी हैव थ्री हंड्रेड रेडियो स्टेशन इन द कंट्री टूडे बट नॉट ए सिंगल पर्सन इज ट्रेन इन कम्युनिटी मीडिया ये इधर आई हैव एडवर्टाइजमेंट एजेंसी पर्सन और आई एम फ्रॉम ए प्रिंट मीडिया और फ्रॉम टेलीविजन radio we don't have that and we have to talk in regional language so therefore uh, i'm sorry uh, okay you want to make a point okay uh, just two points uh, point number one that we have now more opportunities in regional language media that's number one and number two no i guess uh, english at the end of the day now is just a language so i don't see any elitist uh, Uh, kind of a bias if we go for english but now yes we need to open up up more opportunities for regional language journalism i guess iimc is taking a good step in opening up several language journalism courses thank you last point and we have to wrap this panel unfortunately uh, yes. yes actually the media education we uh, our students are studying in the college only it should be introduced in the school itself so the media literacy is very important so they can access and analyze very good information they can uh, uh, get re uh, relevant information relevant to media uh, otherwise they are uh, they will waste their timing their energy lot of the things they are misunderstanding lot of the things that's why the fake news misinformation and disinformation are happening so the media literacy is very important for that purpose we have to introduce at the school Thank level you. another one thing the standardization process we have to start the standardization process uh, process of media industry thank you so thank much you. Uh, i've just heard that bell also ringing so thank you all of you for this wonderful session thanks for being here thank you we'll plan more of course thank you delegates thank you rohail i'd like to request all of you to stay on stage i'd like to call upon mr munish atre national sales head abp news network to kindly join us on stage and felicitate all of our speakers with a token of our appreciation mr munish atre